Hey guys, what's going on? So I have some more news uh, from today. Actually, it's two big pieces of news. It's not small. Uh, it's actually pretty significant because both impact the Yankees in some way. But um, before I get into that news, if you like this kind of content, Yankees or baseball, please hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons because it's greatly appreciated and very helpful for the channel. Also, I don't want you guys to miss out on anything that I put out during the off season because, like I said, it's going to be a roller coaster ride, and it is been a roller coaster ride. We've had a plethora of signings, and we've even had the biggest fish on the market, Aaron Judge, uh, off uh, get taken off the board too. So I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. So please hit that bell icon so you guys get notified of everything that I put out. But uh, anyways, let's get on to the uh, to the news. So earlier today, uh, Japanese import star who uh, was just recently yesterday posted by the MPB League uh, for for Japan, Masataka Yoshida was today earlier signed to a five year ninety million dollar record setting deal for a uh, Japanese player coming over to the majors by the Boston Red Sox. <clears throat> so that doesn't include any kind of no full trade uh, clause or any opt-out clause. It's just a straight five, uh, five year or yeah, five year, $90 million deal so that he will receive from the Red Sox to play with them starting next season. So Masataka Yoshida is off the board uh, this impacts the Yankees because he was one of their targets that they were looking to acquire. Uh, but the Red Sox just snuck in, beat the Yankees out, and now have uh, Yoshida for the next five years. The other piece of news that dropped tonight uh, was later on was Xander Bogarts, the Red Sox shortstop. There was news that there was momentum picking up. Between him and the Red Sox, but in fact, the Red Sox did not re-sign uh, Xander Bogarts. It was in fact the Padres who signed him to an 11-year deal uh, worth $275 million. This was per multiple reports, including the um, San Diego Papers uh, beat writers, uh, Padres beat writers I should say. They have confirmed it that Xander Bogarts for the next 11 years will be playing with San Diego. Um, this does not include any opt-out clauses, but in fact, it does include a no, a full no trade clause. So that means he can veto any trade to any team, including his former team, the Red Sox. Um, if he is offered up on a trade and is trying to be dealt by the Padres. So Xander Bogarts is now out of the American League East and on to the National League West to play for San Diego. This impacts the Yankees uh, as well because he always hit well and played well against the Yankees. He was a Yankee killer. So this takes one, uh, this is one less person to, uh, beat up on the Yankees, per se, and San Diego can put him either at second, short, or third, depending on what they want to do with Tatis uh, when he comes back. Probably he'll start off at short, uh, but probably after that, they might move Tatis to the outfield. But anyways, uh, this uh, really is a good move for San Diego, and it also helps the Yankees because it's one less person that or one less player that can do damage against the Yankees during the regular season. And uh, he is now going to be with San Diego. So congratulations to both Masataka Yoshida on his five-year $90 million deal with the Red Sox and Xander Bogarts, his 11-year $275 million uh, contract with the San Diego Padres. Please let me know what you guys think. Flood the comment section. Let me know uh, uh, what you think about these deals and if you like them and if you think that it's a good deal for 
for uh, the respective ball clubs. Uh, until next time, enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy your day tomorrow. And uh, over and out.